And now, the next three minutes, brought to you by Next3Days.com. Hey everybody, we're inside the Sunkland Farm Corn Maze, the oldest corn maze in Virginia. And we're going to try to see if we can find our way out. I'm not sure if we will, but uh, it's going to be exciting and probably a little scary. I've been reeling, I've been searching all over for the same old worn out feet. I, uh, I finally found my way out of the corn maze here. It was a ton of fun. Highly recommend you come here and try it out yourself. So I'm here with Lisa Sink of Sinkland Farms, home of the longest running pumpkin festival in the state of Virginia. Um, families come out here, pick their pumpkins, but there's a whole lot more to it than just that. Mm -hmm. um, Lisa, tell everyone if they haven't been to Sinkland Farms and they're a family coming out here for the first time, what could they expect? Uh, well, we've got a wide variety of activities. Obviously, the main feature is the hayride to the pumpkin patch, where you can pick your pumpkin from the field and bring it in. And we have um, trail rides where you can um, hop on a horse and take a ride out to the back property of the farm. And then for the smaller kids, we have um, pony cart rides also. Very cool, very cool. Now, I've read on your website, and I've just seen <laughs> that you have quite the corn maze. Yes, sir. And there's a corn maze you can come here and do after dark, mm -hmm. 5 to 8 p.m., Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, can you tell us a little about the corn maze? Like, um, what's it like when you go in there? Uh, this year, we, um, we like to cut designs in our corn maze uh -huh. also. And so this year, it's a fisherman theme. Okay. And so you'll kind of see that. Hopefully, we'll get an aerial um, view of it. Someone can fly over and take a picture. or um, And then you can see it on the map. So, okay. The maps are optional, so you can either go in and figure out the path, or you can just get lost and see see how long it takes to get out. Okay, so it's a must-do attraction, and yes. remember to bring your flashlight, because yes. yes. it will get dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now, talk about Sinkland. Now, we're next three days, we like to talk about all the fun local events. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Sinkland Farms offers a lot for people to do. What other events in the New River Valley, or places to go, do you like to do? I would say my favorite Friday night is the Floyd Jamboree and okay. just walking around up there. And then I would say my favorite other local street fair is stepping out in okay. Blacksburg. Oh, yeah. very good. Very good. Yep. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure talking with you yeah. and getting to see your great property out here. Hey, everybody. We're back from Sinkland Farms. Besides Sinkland Farms, there's plenty more to do in the New River Valley. One of the places you should check out is the Fairy Tale Nightmares House at St. Albans in Radford. Every Friday and Saturday night from 7 p.m. till 12 a.m., enjoy the Haunted House through November 2nd. It's $10 per person as parking is free. While we're talking about haunted houses, there's also a haunted house called Gallows Foundry of Fear in Christiansburg. That goes every Friday and Saturday night um, through October. Also Halloween and Halloween Eve. It's $13 per person, and groups of 10 or more can get in for $10 a piece when purchasing one transaction. And music fans, hold on to your hats. Virginia native and two-time Grammy Award winner Jason Mraz will be performing at Virginia Tech's Burris Auditorium on Wednesday, October 16th. Tickets are on sale now and are $25 for tech students and $45 for general public. Thanks, everybody, for watching the first episode of The Next Three Minutes. If you want to find more events, check us out on next3days.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. And... Pistol and a bottle